السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رب شرح علی صدری ویسر علی عمری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی لیٹ می انٹروڈیوس دا بک بریفلی بیفور وی گو ٹو دا بک ڈائریکٹلی لیٹ می انٹروڈیوس سم اف دا بیسک کلیریفیکیشنز بیفور انڈرسٹینڈنگ دا زکات نمبر 1 ون آف دا موسٹ ایسینشیل میتھڈس آف پاورٹی ایریڈیکیشن از زکات وائی because when it comes to islamic perspective there are so many models to eradicate poverty zakat sadaka nafaka wakf warasat but zakat is one of the primary tool to eradicate poverty in a minority context we can simply implement two things one is nafaka the other one is sadaka according to this quranic verse as uh, rightly mentioned before by ustad mansur When Quran speaks about spending on relatives and orphans and needy, Quran separately mentions about zakat, which means along with other ways of spending, zakat is also a means to eradicate poverty. This is one of the primary understanding we need to get. Number two, zakat is not only an economic activity, but also a spiritual activity, which is defined by the word tutahirum, khutmi namwalihim, Sadaqatan tutahiruhum, purification. So, zakat is not only contributing to the national economy, social upliftment, but also purifies the person. Number three, success of the zakat implementation is determined by its, by its distribution mechanism. It's not only giving individually, it's not only uh, allocating the money on my own, it's about implementing in a proper manner which also emphasized with the word wal amilina alaiha through this word quran emphasizes which when zakat is implemented it should be implemented in a manner where it achieves the objectives of zakat so therefore quran directly emphasizes the institutionalized system of zakat implementation now let me briefly go to the book this zakat a practical guide book is presented in three main chapters chapter number 1 is general conditions of zakat prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says khairu sadaqati ma kana allah rigina the best of charity is which is given when you are self sufficient so when somebody is self sufficient he become eligible to pay zakat so according to this hadith we take basic conditions for zakat number 1 absolute ownership augmentable wealth being free from debts completion of one lunar year exceeding basic needs let me explain two things what is augmentable wealth here prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says laysa ala al muslimi fi farasihi wala ala abdihi sadaqa a muslim is not obligatory to pay zakat for his horse and slave which means zakat is not obligatory on non augmentable wealth and the, the other important condition is exceeding basic needs when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked why saluna kamada yunfikun they ask you what they should spend kulil af say the excess beyond your needs so after deduction of all the expenses incurred what remains from that remaining excess you spend so this these all conditions are derived from this basic uh, hadith that is number 1 let me take you to the second chapter of the book which is sources of zakat sources of zakat and when it comes to sources of zakat we take basically three main verses from quran khud min amwalihim sadaqa amwal quran explain the general term wealth wahatu hakkahu yawma hasadi which talks about all kinds of plants and agriculture so all kinds of agricultural wealth are considered into zakat calculation anfiku min tayyibati ma kasabtum spend from the good things which you earned all kinds of earnings are included through this verse so all kinds of wealth all kinds of plants all kinds of earnings included into the zakat calculation according to these quranic verses when we come to our time when we come to our time and study what are the zakatable wealth we understand 
ட்ரெடிஷ்னலி மணி எக்ரிகல்ச்சர் லைஃப் ஸ்டாக் மினரல்ஸ் அண்ட் ட்ரெஷர்ஸ் மெரைன் ரிசோர்ஸஸ் வென் இட் கம்ஸ் டு மணி மணி இன் சேவிங்ஸ் ஷுட் பி இன்க்ளூடட் இன் டு த ஜகாத் கல்குலேஷன் ஆல்சோ எசட்ஸ் பர்ச்சஸ்ட் ஃபார் எக்யூமிலேஷன் பர்பஸஸ் ஆஸ் வெல் எசட்ஸ் பர்ச்சஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸ்ட்ரா வகன் பர்பஸஸ் ஆல்சோ குட் பி கன்சிடர்ட் ஆஸ் அ மணி இன் சேவிங் ஸோ தே ஆஃபர் இட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஷுட் பி இன்க்ளூடட் இன் டு த ஜகாத் கல்குலேஷன் வென் இட் கம்ஸ் டு மாடர்ன் பிஸ்னஸ் வெஞ்சர்ஸ் எனிமல் ஹஸ்பண்ட்ரி ஒர்க்கிங் இன்கம் மூவபிள் அண்ட் இம்மூவபிள் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி இன்கம் சர்வீஸ் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் இன்கம் ஷேர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபைனான்ஷியல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் மெனி மூ ஸோ வென் வி வென் வி ஸ்டடி ஓல் தீஸ் ஏரியாஸ் டு இன்க்ளூட் இன் டு த ஜகாத்தபுள் வெல்த் கேட்டகரி வி ஃபவுண்ட் தேர் ஆர் தேர் ஆர் ஃபியூ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஒப்பீனியன்ஸ் ஆன் தீஸ் வெல்த் வித் திஸ் இஸ் இன்க்ளூடட் இன் டு த ஜகாத்தபுள் வெல்த் ஓ நாட் பட் த ஸ்ட்ராங் ஒப்பீனியன் one of the strong opinion is these are zakatabul wealth which is the opinion of imam umar ibn abdul aziz rahimahullah which was again and again explained now he he is a he is considered as a fifth khalifa uh, as a righteous khalifa and he is the he is a tabi who was a student of many sahabas who is a islamic jurist and whose fatwas are widely spread and accepted by the muslim community across the globe so when we study imam umar ibn abdul aziz fatawas in all these areas we get to know that all these wealth are considered as zakatabul wealth which is described in detail in our book our main third chapter in the book is zakat distribution before the distribution or during the distribution there are four things to be considered number 1 zakat should be implemented in an institutionalized manner which is emphasized through the word al amiluna alaiha number 2 during the zakat distribution investment should be prioritized over consumption zakat so when we supply or distribute the zakat investment projects must be prioritized number 3 when we distribute the zakat among the fakir and miskin normally in our social uh, reality we give to the fakir more of the zakat but the miskin is most of the time ignored but miski fakir and miskin should be equally given prominence and importance during the zakat distribution therefore we can easily uplift the people who are in the edge of the development part so when we when we support them to Uh, increase their wealth or develop their business they will become zakat uh, givers in the upcoming future number 4 fi sabilillah for the, for the cause of allah what are the activities can be done in a minority context to develop and to enrich our society educational projects community projects economic project political projects so to strengthen the muslim community what kind of activities can be done it's described and explained in our book and finally muallafatu qulubuhum those who are re, those who rekind reconciled their hearts when it comes to muallafatu qulubuhum what kind of activities we can do reconciliation projects social harmony activities social coexistence activities can be included when zakat is distributed in all these ways we can contribute significantly to the achievement of zakat objective let me speak about uh, the zakat distribution mechanism how the zakat dist- institution can work to achieve this set objectives we we emphasize zakat institution should be implemented based on planning planning should include in both calculation uh, collection and distribution so zakat institution will have a well equipped employees or the officials who are able to c- collect the zakat with the set objectives and they collect the zakat with proper calculation and uh, research and the distribution also done in a way to achieve those targets so cal- collection is done with the planning distribution is also done in a plan where we will reach the objective which is the o- economic development so proper planning research consultation will be the base of this 
zakat institution which we emphasize now what is the outcome we are going to gain to the country through this zakat implementation we we bring three kind of uh, benefits to the country through this implementation of zakat number one alleviation of poverty is one of the primary duty and function of a state when we work on alleviating poverty in our community level we are directly contributing to the state in alleviating poverty so this is one of the contribution we could make to the country national development when we work on research research findings research plans project proposals to develop the communities to uplift the individuals businesses there there will be so many business projects employment opportunities uh, district wise development provincial development therefore zakat if zakat is implemented in a proper manner with investment projects and plans we could contribute to the national development of our country finally as i told you when mualafatul qulub portion is distributed properly we could contribute to the social harmony social coexistence which is the which is the high need of our time so these are the areas we can contribute to zakat also mishkat is intending to work on in a detailed manner to how zakat can be contributed to the national development social harmony and the national poverty eradication which will be the next type of efforts also mishkat is intending to establish a national zakat institution to guide the regional zakat foundation zakat institution in order to carry out their duties and responsibilities with the set objectives and targets and plans in order to achieve the zakat objectives ultimately to contribute to the nation barakallahu li wa lakum wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh